everyone. It's Tuesday, January the 23rd, 2024. I'm Doug. It's time once again to play Connections. Let's see what we've got on the game board today. All right. Today we have Prime, Devise, Torch, Create, Time, Dollar, Buck, Sterling, At, Fine, Coin, Percent, Bar, Pound, Quality, and Invent. Okay. So I'm wondering if we have sterling, dollar, and pound are units of or types of currency. Um, but I feel like buck and dollar are synonyms, not different types of currency. So I'm going to hold off on that. I feel like I need to hold off on that one for the moment. Uh, devise, create, invent. Um, what would be the, uh, hmm, what would be a fourth for to bring something forward? A devise, I create, I invent. Coin, oh, to coin something, like to coin a phrase. Uh, so uh, the, fra the, the category is to come up with something, to uh, initiate something, to bring something uh, into existence. Bring into being. Bring into, bring into being. There you go. And it's the yellow. Okay. I'll take it. Um, quality, prime, fine. Um, I guess sterling could be considered a, uh, let's see, what would be the way to characterize this? Um, prestigious, fine, quality, prime, sterling. Prestigious, is that the category? Excellent. Okay, excellent and prestigious. They are synonymous. So I think we get that one. Going pretty good here. All right. So let's see. Um, buck, dollar, pound. And then I don't, yeah, see, I don't have, I don't think money works anymore as a category. I don't think money works as a category here. Um, at, I mean, what am I doing with at? <laughs> you know? uh, interesting. Um, torch. Hmm. Okay. Time. They definitely, I mean, I know, I know everyone's going to be like groaning, but I, I definitely see potential for some sort of phrase here because you get a lot of words that really have no clear connection to one another. So I'm just I'm just saying, just saying. Um, bar. Uh, boy, the at part is really interesting to me. Pound, buck, dollar. Hmm. Could be measurements. Time. Measurement could be time. Measurement could be percent. Measurement could be pound. I guess a measurement could be in dollars. Um, things, measure, different types of measurements. One away. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, bar maybe is a measurement. No, that doesn't even get there, huh? Okay. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so this was one away. Um, man. Goodness gracious. Um, hmm. This is going to be tricky. Torch doesn't fit with anything. 
time. Dollar percent. Now I'm wondering if it's buck, dollar percent pound. Um, is the measurement? No, also one away. Down to our last guess. Oh, huh. Dollar percent buck, maybe pound, isn't it? I got a bad feeling about this one. Because I really have nowhere to go. I mean, I feel like there's something with dollar percent, maybe buck. We've ruled out bar. Um... I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna take my. Uh, did I did I do this already? I take my last licks at this. Is this measurement? No. All right. Well, what did we have here? Symbols. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, we had a phrase. <laughs> so we have. Uh, let's see. Symbols above numbers on the keyboard at sign. Dollar percent pound. Oh, man. You know, I should have got that, and I didn't. And then pass the bar buck time torch. Yep. All right. Well, clearly two for me today. Um, hey, I knew there was probably a phrase. <laughs> that doesn't get me. That and, a, that and a dollar get me a cup of coffee. Um, and maybe coffee's more than a dollar these days. It probably if it's Starbucks. That and $10 will get me a cup of coffee. Uh, but let's see, how did you guys do? Uh, what, what did or didn't stymie you today? Kind of curious to see. Always fun to, uh, chit chat in the connections community. Well, folks, uh, thanks for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps the channel quite a bit and I'll see you tomorrow for some more connections.